Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you guys for joining me as I start up my coverage of Vesteria Saga 1, or Vesteria Saga 1, War of the Scions. This is by the original creator of Fire Emblem, and I think it's like the first six or eight or something like that games before there was the split between... Anyway. Uh, so yeah, the original creator of Fire Emblem has created this, and it just got translated and released in the West for us plebs who speak English, I guess. And yeah, you guys can grab it on Steam. I'll have all the relevant links down below. It's it's a little bit pricey, but again, it's again somebody who invented a series and kind of a whole genre that I really really enjoy. So here we are. We're gonna hop in. We're gonna play it. I grabbed this as soon as I got home from work today, and we are going to begin. It should look very familiar to you, because this is, um, uh, as I said over the last few days, um, we're going to be very heavily uh, SRPG inclined over the next week or two, so this is uh, oh, one of those initiatives, if you will. Alright, let's go. New game. Uh, Orthodox or Clemency. Recommended for those seeking a challenge, be prepared to reload, reload, reload on your first playthrough if you want to save everyone. Or, designed for intermediate players, increases all XP or EXP awards by 20 and grants attack, defense, and resistance plus 2 when Athol is present. Um... Yeah, no, I, I suppose I'll go with uh, the traditional or the orthodox method. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Prologue, the Fallen Kingdom. Uh-huh. Regina, capital of the kingdom of Mel Melida? Melida? M Mil Melida. Uh-huh. What are we doing? We're going up into the kingdom? Zade, there's not another minute for debate if you are to reach... Venetia in time. Venetia? Ven 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 I don't know. I shall, I'm shall. i sure I'm going to butcher every single name, word, phrase in this game, so just be aware that I'm aware that you're aware that I'm aware of it. So, yes, I shall hold the capital now. Take the princess and go. You'll find a Karak, or Carrick, in the Frawl Harbor. You expect me to just sail away and leave you here to face the Imperial Army alone? Against those numbers? Never, brother. I shall not flee like a coward. Let me stay. We can drive those, drive off those wretches together. There's no need. I shall be right on your heels. You and Princess Athol Atholfus can wait for me in Venetia. That's what we're going to call it. I'm sure that's completely wrong, but, you know, like, Alicia has that. Yeah, it's fine. Zech, please. Lord Zadrian, your courage has been noted, but the Duke is right. When that ship departs, so do all hopes of delivering the princess to safety. You too, Master Garland? <sighs> all right, brother, as you command. But do not forget your promise. The princess believes she will see you again in Venetia. That you will not seek out any needless fights. It wasn't an empty promise. I meant every word. I would never deceive her. Well, are we in agreement, or aren't we? Go! Go! And keep your wits about you. Brigands and thieves own the roads, but they're only a threat if you let them be. I'm sending with you what knights I can. Give heed to Master Garland's counsel, and don't poke your head in quarrels that aren't yours. I am placing the princess in your care for a reason, Zaid. You are smart, capable. You can do this. Young lord, it is time to go. Knights, gather round. We march for Frawl Harbor. No harm must befall Lord Zadrian, or the princess, en route. Whatever lawless lickpennies attempt to bar our way must be dispatched swiftly and carefully. <laughs> Leave it to me. I will ride ahead and weed the wretches out. Put me at the van and stay close behind, and I swear no harm will befall you. I can't keep this up, by the way, guys. I'm just having some fun right now. Wait, wait what? Again? Bonasol? Uh, but you always get the van. Fine, I'll take the rear guard. It's more exciting anyway. Thank you for... Uh, I don't see. I, can't, I told you I can't keep it up. 
Uh, thank you, friends. Zaid may be young and inexperienced, but his raw talent eclipses my own. With you at his side, there is no challenge that he cannot surmount. Serve him well. Yes, your grace. With my life. I already forgot. It's, it's fine. We are his to command, just as we are yours. He and the princess are safe with us. Well, brother, until we meet again. Upon the sword father gave me, I swear to see my duty through. May his strength live on, and Edelstern steal. Be safe, Zek. Oh, I'm excited! I just, I love these games so much. So, they're so good. Oh, sorry. NPCs like Zek take action independently. Whoa, sorry, what now? Okay, he's green, okay. Take note, you can save this turn, but only before taking your first action. Do I want to do that? Okay, so was it this button? Nope, it was not that button. Uh, so do bear in mind, I'm trying to use the controller, and there's only basically two buttons, right? There's just like accept and go back. Uh, on top of that, it uses, and I'm not real sure why, but it uses the analog stick as opposed to the D-pad. I feel like a game like this, you'd absolutely want to use the D-pad. I mean, it's right, left, up, down. You know, it, it's... That's so far the only thing I really... I haven't enjoyed about these uh, these games. Uh, is for the controllers. It just... It doesn't feel natural to me. There's nothing bad or wrong with it. Again, it's, it's just a personal preference. Alright, so... Do we have any kind of ranged dudes? It doesn't look like it. Well, yeah... yeah. Oh, you're a princess. Okay. Oh, well, your healing staff. Ooh, 22. Oh, see now this. This I la 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 30. Okay. Okay. It's very weird they started me with absolutely zero. Ranged units. Ah, eh, that's it's fine. Um Nope, nope. Oh gosh, I'm uh hitting wrong buttons. All right, I guess we're gonna move out now. C wait, can we? Can we stop it? Can we see who this guy is? He's a mountaineer brigand. All right. Okay. Okay, so I guess I'll just move a little bit and kind of let them close with us. I think that's probably going to be the move that I go for. I'm probably going to switch back to the keyboard and mouse guys and girls. I'm not going to lie, I really don't like the, the way the controller feels. Oh, we can talk to each other. Hey, what's up? Oi, what the Grimace? Now, why the Grimace, Prody? Armor strapped on too tight? Heh, <laughs> very droll. You don't have any reservations about the General's brother taking command? He's never seen battle before. I trust General Zacharias. If he says the boy's raw talent outstrips his inexperience, then that's enough for me. But you must agree we belong at the general's side, defending the capital. Not babysitting some novice who's never even bloodied his sword. Enough, Prody, or Prody. I understand your reservations, but orders are orders. Stop wagging your tongue as if you're so important. If you're that fine a soldier, then you can do your job and keep Lord Zadrian and the princess safe. Oh, <laughs> right. Sorry. Well, that was weird. Yeah, we're we're gonna switch back over to the the keyboard and mouse. I I'm sorry. I do believe that I prefer this. It's also kind of what I'm used to. So, roll out with that. We got a stockpile. Is that like a caravan? I bet it's like the caravan. And you're Zaid. Okay. We got Troy. Oh no. Uh, Troy, I wanted to speak with you, buddy. Can the princess talk to people? Probably only to our main character boy. Our, our, our boy here. What's up? So Zaid, talk. Oh, Please, my lord. We can all just leave him behind. Peace, your highness. Zek said he would meet us in Venetia. But we must first reach it ourselves. Will you lend us your staff? Y yeah. Yeah, well, duh. Of course I will. I mean, my god. She's a valley girl in this 
this rendition. I'm like, OMG, I'll lend you my stat. No, it's, it's fine. All right, I guess that's it. Uh. Har, did you hear, Kaz? The empire, all right, the empire cut the Meledian army to shreds. The sun's rising on humble folks like you and me. Yeah, I always knew those knights in their fancy armor was more glitter than guts. I think they so much better than us. Next time I see them, I'll bury me axe in each and every one of those cavalier dogs. Well, I hear the royal family's on the run, looking to leave the country. So if it's blood you're after, I reckon the road to the harbor is the best place to hunt. Perfect, I'll rob them, and then I'll hack them to bits. Then I'll toss their carcasses in the sea, and then I'll laugh. <laughs> Just like that, so better. I like it. Hehe, <laughs> easy pickings. Did, did, did he just attack a boat? Do I have control over these? Oh, I do. I think. I do not. Okay, I was wrong. Well, it looks like we're on a timer. And I am never a fan of being on the timer. Alright, let's attack with the quickness. Yeah, double swing. Not enough to kill him, uh, shockingly enough. Stop it. I am Lord Zake. I am Lord Zaid. Sorry, Zaid. And I am going to kill you with a lot of vengeance. And he did. He did just that. Alright, well, I can't reach you, so that's... Oh, well, I got the pilot. I'm going to throw some stuff at you. Let's still throw a stick at you. Ain't no big thing. Can she do anything to him? I feel like she's just gonna get killed if I send her out. Because this dude is is very unhappy that we exist. And, and we and we can't use our boy up here, right? Well, it is what it is. Heh <laughs> I am one lucky duck. Look at what I managed to lift this time. Or came up with this crime doesn't pay, obviously never tried it. Now I'm the proud owner of one jeweled knife. And ain't no one's gonna take it from me. So this dude's got a jeweled knife down here that we're gonna totally take from him. Oh! Oh, you thought you were gonna hit me. Is, is that what went through your head there? Before my blade? It's fine. Dang, the pirates are upon us. Already the crack. We sail now or perish. Oh. Well, that seems ungood. Hello. I wish to... to uh... Okay. Well, I guess we'll go with single spear, because, you know... Oh, we get two hits, 81% accurate. Ah, you know, so we're going to do some damage. Yeah, we could probably kill him here. Waddle on up and just stab it a stab stab through and then double stab and victory. Aw uh, yeah. Can we go into the house? Oh we can. Oh. The Imperial Commander, Legate Ajax, is said to be one of the Empire's finest. Fierce as the god army is on the battlefield, and yet as gentle as Klanya's mercy to the people. He has subjugated. So while I mourn our king, the princes, and the late duke for so bravely leading our forces, I, I can't help but think they died for naught. They should have surrendered to Ajax. I obtained 100 denarii. Thank you. I will make good use of this as I visit this house. The king's an old blind fool. Melodon may be a large kingdom by Vesterian standards, but to the Empire, we're just a pile of dirt in the sea. They control the whole mainland. He should have seen we had no chance. Couldn't even keep his dukes in check. If the Duke of Frist hadn't set fire to that Imperial vessel, we wouldn't have this stupid war. No one thinks of the consequences. No one thinks of us. Now, get out of my way. Time's running out if any of us... Hope to escape here alive. 
I mean, you can complain and whine, and you know, I'm all for that. But as long as you keep giving me money, I'm not really upset with it. By all means, I can visit on horseback. If a house is open to you, you should visit it. We don't mind, usually. We're here to provide information and sometimes even part with our coin and prized possessions. Honestly, we, we don't mind. Just don't kill us. But if you don't reach us in time, brigands and thieves may wreck our homes. That part we mind. So if you're going to make a social call, be quick. Actually, you were rather quick. So here, have some coin. I was hoping you'd notice. I can't imagine Princess... A wow. Athelfies... Athelfis' pain? Uh, mm. The queen's illness and death are still fresh in all our minds, and now this war. She's lost her father, two brothers, and must have been devastating. The only one she has left is Duke Zacharias, her betrothed. But duty prevents him from abandoning the palace, another tragedy just waiting to happen. All I can do is cower here and offer her my prayers. And you some money! Thank you! All right, cool. Uh, end turn. I like the, I like the signpost here. Do we have objectives? Oh, wait. Grandpa, where are you going with that old sword? Oh, somebody's leaving this house over here. Sword? <laughs> this here is a cutlass. Slash C... Oh. Mm, okay. In my younger years, I used this baby to hack through all manner of brigand. They'll do it again. What? B but Grandpa, the only hacking I've seen you do is the kind followed by wheezing. Oh, oh, sick burn, old man. I'm oh, sorry. If you go out there, they'll kill you. I, you can't just leave me to fend for myself. Stay here where it's safe. D don't go. <laughs> Please. Oh, all right. There, there. I'll stay here if you want me to. I promise. If someone doesn't stand up and fight, it's only a matter of time before we're all lost. Look, man, it's on my to-do list, okay? Cut me some slack. Give me a break. I'm doing the best I can. The best you can ain't good enough. Ain't it, though? You there, Meledian scum. Time to pay in coin and blood. How about we pay in the... Oops, I missed. Huh. Well, that's not good. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. Um. Well. Um. I guess we're going here. Alright, time to go bloody your sword some more, friend. Attack A! Use the Edelstern. No, don't. Just use the short sword. I believe in you. 16 damage, you got this. Schmack! Can he crit? Not you. you. We hurt. We, we, we feel a little bit wounded. We feel a little woozy. It's fine. So much for the great Vestarian Alliance. Melida played, played, pled with the other member states to send troops, supplies, anything. But the moment the Empire arrived at our shores, the Accord was no better than a worthless piece of paper. Cowards all vanish back to their countries faster than a fart in the wind. We may be one island, but we're clearly not one people. I always knew it, I suppose. Thanks for the hundred monies. Let's see what horrible tactical choice I just made. Dodge, Zade. Yes, now slay. Good boy. See, Zade knows. Zade knows what's up. Uh, not sure he knows what's up, Troy. Multi-chance. Or, as I like to call it, multi-miss. This is exactly what you did. Ha 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 ha. Here comes me quarry. The unspeakable things I'm going to do to you. Aha! Aha! Yep, we missed two out of three swings. Oh. Like what's going on? Oh, oh, it just up and left. Oh no. Oh heck. Nothing stopping the pirates now. For all harbors done for, it's only a matter of time. I'll stay and wait as long as I can. But his lordship better hurry if he doesn't want to be lord with no ship. 
Nice. You can save this turn, but only before taking your first action. You know what? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, let's, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll save. Let's, let's save. We're going to save right here. That's going to be our mid-episode save. Always, hopefully. And we'll see how that works out. We're going to visit. What do you have to say? I've already broken the three walls today, so I ought to know better, but I have something random and exceedingly important to tell you. Okay. In this game, you can only save every five turns. A warning will pop up when the time comes. So don't miss your chance. And, dang, there goes the fourth wall. Nice. Nice. That was good. That was clever. I, I like that. That was witty. That, 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 was, that was nice. That was, that was good. I, I, I like that. I enjoyed that. That was something special. Alright, can, can we not just be terrible and like maybe hit people? I, I don't know. Nope. I'm just gonna be terrible. Oh, well, you're doing okay. Nope. Alright, you get on over here. How far out can your staff reach? Range of one. So I gotta be right up on them. Oh, longsword. Whom do you wish to hit? 65 or 63? Let's go after this guy. I got three chances to hit you. I did it on the first. Well, what? That was supposed to drop like flies. Dropped you like a fly, and we got your sack of coin. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait here. I think it's fine. Don't you miss. Oh, dang, just when my star was rising. Uh-huh, cool. Looking at one to HP, one to defense. Not really the best level ups, but we'll take it. All right, going to move here. I'm going to staff you. Oh, staff you upside the noggin. All are healed. Oh, my mouse clicking is bad today. Open up the map menu and you'll notice a, se a selection a selection labeled View Objectives. You should take a look at this before each fight, y you know, because the conditions for victory and defeat vary from battle to battle. It'll be the commander caught with his pants down. Keep your pantalones up, sir. Alright, I think we're going to go over here with you. I think we're gonna go this way with you. How does he doesn't do well in trees, right? I, this should be fine. So, ah, good old proficiency, prof. Think of it as your mastery of a given weapon type. Your rank with that weapon type, uh, so to speak. Individual weapons require a certain level of proficiency. If your proficiency with that weapon type is sufficient, then you can equip the weapon. Train hard, and your proficiency will grow. Simple enough, right? Okay. Sounds easy. We'll end our turn. That ship is getting his its booty whooped. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw a heal up onto our, our boy here. It's a good old Troy. Our boy Troy. Give him a little bit of love there. And then we're gonna go over here and be like, hey, what's up, man? You got a cool jewel dagger, I heard. I would like to hold it, if you would allow me to. What, 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 what do you want? I found this knife fair and square. We might have missed a little bit. Maybe. But I gotta admit, I'm not positive. There are so many open houses here. My goodness. Visit. Your attack is a sum of strength and your weapon's power. Subtract your enemy's defense from attack to determine damage. If you're using magic, then attack equals mag. Plus the magic's power and damage equals attack minus opponent's resistance. 
When attack reduces a unit's HP to zero, the unit will die permanently. There's no reversing that swipe of the Reaper's Scythe. If you want to keep all your units alive, then you need to fight your battles carefully. Oh, so they kind of go with a different approach than what we saw with Falnarian tactics. And, you know, it is more along the lines of, of Fire Emblem because you didn't really want to let your guys die. That wasn't really a way of resurrecting them. So, okay. I can get behind this. I, I think I prefer this... A little bit more. I don't really like the idea of my people dying. It makes me very sad. So the fact that they're all going to live makes me a little bit happy. Again, this is assuming that I can actually make them live. Which, at this point, I have some doubts. Especially this guy who cannot seem to do anything against our boy here. We don't have a lot of chance to hit, but we can take it. It's like a coin toss at this point. Yep. And that coin done got tossed. Well, it's going to take him a while to defeat us, but we'll see. Alright, I'm coming over here. Brigand, rascal, you finally come to invade our village. Well, prepare to be hacked upon. Hmm. You're no brigand. No, you're a true Meledian. Hmm, this could only be destiny. Here. This cutlass was a bosom friend. What? When I was your age. It's a fine weapon. Light, so you'll be able to land two blows at a time. May it help you restore Melida restore Melida to glory. I love my kingdom, always have, and I won't stand by and watch it destroyed. I have acquired the cutlass. I'm okay with that. Let's go visit this one. What you got to say? When someone you care about is within three spaces of you, then your bond will let you draw on more power than usual. Oh, neat. You can see who your bonds benefit by checking the stat bar to the right of the unit data window. Don't get confused, though. The names listed in the stat bar are the ones on the receiving end of the bond's benefits. You don't necessarily benefit back. Also, the type and proficiency of the benefit depends on the unit's relationship. Are they friends? Lovers? Does one protect the other? Some things are out of your control. Still, if you make sure your units continue to talk to each other, you can probably improve the relationships over time. Okay, a bonding thing. That's interesting. I don't dislike it. All right, short sword, do your work. Goodbye, Mr. Pirate. If that is your real name. It's, it's not. It's just kind of what he is. He happens to be a pirate. Um, why can't... Well, oh, wait, what? Didn't I click here? No, I guess I didn't. I sworn I did. Yay. All right. I believe everyone hath moved. Go forth, enemies. See if you're ready to step to Lord Zaid. He is pretty lethal with a blade. I don't know if that's true, but, you know. Don't worry, my lord. I'm here to help. Get stabbed. -ed. I'm going to stab you back twice. Are you, though? So I feel like that's truthful to a degree. But a much smaller degree than you might have thought. Ooh, we get a level up. Plus one to dexterity, to proof, and to defense. Okay, proficiency. And we got some herbs. Okay, I'm not real sure what, what we're going to do with the herbs, but yeah, no, that's a thing. Weapons and magical tomes can be quite heavy. Their weight will affect your speed in battle. That's interesting. I'm just a humble farmer, but basically speed equals agility minus weapon weight. Minus strength divided by two. So it results in a value of zero or greater. Your evasion is double your speed, and if your speed exceeds your opponent's by at least three, then you get a second attack. Ah, farming. <laughs> ah, farming. What? I feel like this flower is something special, too. I, I really like this game so far. Items like herbs and medicines only work on the person carrying them. 
But I hear the magic in staves is the opposite. It only heals others, never the wielder. You'll need to know when to use which, so don't forget the difference. Fair shout. That is a fair shout. Alright, let's attack again. Totally gonna hit him this time. What? Totally gonna ignore him this time because I can't hit him. You would think the Templars from Alana Sanctum would march south and save our sorry hides, but oh no! Vesta teaches them they must not interfere with the mundane struggles of mankind. Pfft. Right. What about the mundane struggles of one of their own? Princess Athel Ath Athelfis is their star maiden. They could at least save her. If she dies, it would be too late for any of us. Yeah. The things that you said there, yep. No, abandon ship, abandon ship. Ah. Can we, can we kill you now? Oh, young lord, once we have reached the harbor, the Carrack for Venetia will set sail. We can arrive at the signpost by the harbor in any order, but arriving means leaving the battle. Take care not to leave the princess unguarded. We must be quick. If the pirates destroy our Carrack before we reach it, then all hope is lost. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, whatever you say. You say, yeah, I don't, I don't care. I would much rather just do smacky things to these guys. So I feel like if we just take out the pirates, then most of our issues are going to be solved immediately. Catch. Hold this. There it is. Just gonna, just gonna wait. Um, I suppose I'll start moving my way up toward him. We're going to take him down eventually. Ooh, his aide's getting slapped by the pirate, but he's slapping right back. Well, I mean, I, I didn't really, you know, that's fine. I didn't really want to attack with, or move with you, but, you know, this, this it works. Good day, sir. Ah, uh, got it like a fish. Yeah, you were. How dare you attack our, our boats. Uh, sorry, our boats of doom. There we go. Visit. Weapons come in all shapes, sizes, and varieties. Some are for attacking foes up close, while others are better for attacking at range. There are even weapons that give you a 50% boost in power when wielded against certain class groups. We call that a weapon's effect. It can work for you, and it can work against you. Always keep an eye on your adversary's weapons, and read the descriptions. Got to be a smart commander, not a sloppy one. Good luck, commander. Uh huh. Busy. All right. Have you seen the pretty rings of color surrounding the shadows of each unit? A shadow with a blue ring means the unit is on your side. Red rings are enemies. And green rings are NPC allies. What's an NPC? Gosh, I don't know. Grandpa gave me a script and I'm following it. Nice. And he gave you a lot of money to give to me. It's a double nice thing. Alright, what's up? I'm told of arcane devices called USB game pads that can be inserted into your PC to increase your pleasure. Sounds a wee bit too scandalous for me, but hey, it's your PC, and you can play with it any way you like. Yeah, I'm not really loving the, the controller on this one. Like I said, I, I definitely prefer the, the mouse, essentially, at this point. It just feels much more natural using it. This guy's going to get away, isn't he? I feel like he's just going to run from me, and I'm not going to be able to catch him. Oh, wait, never mind. The bridge is broken. He, he's uh he's gonna get got I can assure you of that we're gonna try again to actually hit him here short spear go 56% I believe in you Prody see look at that look at that see look you did something you hit him you hit him you did some things it's good 
All right, we're gonna wait here. And we're gonna wait here. We're gonna end our turn. We're gonna have Prody give his best attack, his best attempt, starting with his best foot forward and see if he can bring down the thief. And he can. Uh, all right, take the knife, but don't kill me. A little late for that, friend. The jeweled knife is mine, and so is your life. Your life ends here. All right, cool. All right, what's in this last and final house? Dexterity is a crucial stat. Every point in it increases your accuracy to... or causes your accuracy to be increased by three. If you have the critical edge skill, then dex is also added to your critical rate. Or percentage probability the critical attack will happen. In actual use, your opponent's luck is subtracted from crit to determine the probability. There are also weapons that improve crit and items that improve critical evasion. Critical attacks deal double damage, so you want yours to happen as much as possible. And your opponent's to hopefully never happen. That's fair. That is a valid point. Alright, we, we about to be up and out of this place. I have arrived. Good. I'm not too late. I'll run on ahead. You do that, friend. I See, I believed in you. And rightfully so. Well, looks like we're going to be uh, finishing up this first uh, dealie here. I think before we uh, evacuate everyone, I'll probably break off the episode. We'll evacu evacuate everybody and then start the next episode... We're going right into the storyline and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on down here and I'm going to arrive. The harbor. I made it. I hope Zeke's... Zeke's... I hope Zek is safe. Alright, and she's just going to... Oop. She is just going to wait here until everybody gets over here. So I'm going to get all of our peeps over to this area, which again is basically one dude. can save. Yeah, I know. I know I can save. I'm aware of how this works. And once he's over, like I said, we're going to break off this first episode. Well, I really like what I see. It has, sure, a lot of similarities. It looks very similar, though not exactly the same as Falnarian Tactics. Um, a lot of different game mechanics and just, just differences between the gameplay choices and stuff. So, I like it. I like the that it's very similar, yet still diverse in its own way. I think that's always nice to have games that are close to one another, but not exactly identical. So, there you have it. Anyway, folks, I'm going to end the turn one final time, and then I think, um, ah, one more. One more, there we go. I think everybody will be able to escape on the next turn. Anyway, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature, just like it always is. Hope you guys had some fun with this. It's been a very... Very, very busy, but uh, enjoyable holiday season for me. Um, so I'm a bit tired, a bit scattered brain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some time off coming up soon, so I'll be able to hopefully recharge my bumpy batteries, and everything will be good. So if I'm a little scattered and all over the place with this, um, yeah, just, just roll your eyes, do a little face palm, and move on. It's good. Anyway, there'll be more of this coming on the channel real, real soon, uh, along with a ton of other stuff, as you guys always know. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and, like I said, tons of other things. Thousands of videos. You should be able to find something you enjoy. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy Nick Squiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I'll see you later.